Today we are going to be reviewing the Met Gala looks from the 2022 Met Gala that happened last night. We got a lot of ground to cover, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Kim Kardashian. It's a sleigh because she wore Marilyn Monroe's iconic gown from 1962 whenever she sang happy birthday to John F. Kennedy. She even had the pointy tits. However, in the first picture of her, I thought she shaved her head with a razor for this look. Did anyone else think that? Then I realized she went platinum blonde. How do you go platinum blonde like overnight? I know Miss Kimberly has two pieces of hair left after bleaching that head. She says she's gonna remain blonde for a minute. Oh, I bet she is, girl. Honestly, I appreciate her dedication to the look because not only did she bleach her head, she said she had three weeks to lose 16 pounds to fit in the dress because they cannot alter that dress. It can't be altered. She also wore platform heels like this high because Marilyn Monroe was tall. She was a tall girly or was Kim a short girly? I don't know, but either way, it's a sleigh because of the dedication that Kimberly puts in. Some of these other looks were just like, <clears throat> some of these other looks were just not it. I'm gonna say it. I am judging these looks where I'm wearing half top, half pajama pants, but you know what? Someone's gotta do the job. The main gag of Kim's look is the fact that TikTok was able to figure out what she was gonna wear before she came out and revealed it on the carpet. We already knew. These TikTok investigators, honey, they do more work than the FBI. They knew what Kim was gonna wear. They knew, they knew. Sebastian Snape. No, no, you're not on theme. Valentino dressed him. Not on theme, not on theme. I'm not doing it. Emma Chamberlain, a thousand times, yes. Emma Chamberlain accomplished having the best moment at the Met Gala. I'm gonna go ahead and play that right here. Can't wait. Love you, bye. Love ya. <laughs> what would you have done if Jack Harlow said he helped you after an interview? Like, what do you do? Why did he say that? Don't say that. She's like, what? I love you too, what? Emma Chamberlain brings the funny to Met Gala. Also, her body in that outfit, it's a thousand times yet. Louis Vuitton and her are best friends, so uh, yeah, they dressed her. Vanessa Hudgens, Moschino, yes, 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 give it to me, give it to me. Vanessa Hudgens always slays the Met Gala. Like, she's really good at this. <laughs> she never disappoints, she really never disappoints. Kris Jenner, okay, at first I was like, what this hair? Like, I appreciate her doing something different with her hair from the pixie cut, but like, hmm. But then I did my research and she's playing tribute to Jackie O, so that's why her hair the dress 10 out of 10 gorgeous on her yellow's her color again paying tribute to miss jackie o with the hair i get it now chef's kiss anna wintour now anna isn't this your gala <laughs> the outfit was it no oh miss wintour me judging anna wintour's outfit wow <laughs> she took off her glasses does she take off her glasses for every Met gala she probably took them off and was like wow this is what everybody looks like you know what i don't hate her outfit it's not like one of the worst it just ain't it. Moving right along to the best dress of the night. Actually, one of the best dresses. I have a couple best dresses. Miss Blake Lively. I'm like, how do you slay this many times in a row, first of all? You gotta flop eventually. <laughs> how is she still slaying? How? How? How is she slaying these looks? Look after look after look. She was dressed by Versace. Eh, Versace? Not Versace. She was dressed by Versace, and Versace really never fails anyone. If Versace picks you to dress you, you already know you're gonna win. Uh, it's a two-sided dress. When she walked in, I was like, wow. I was hoping she would flop eventually, but nope, she is not letting off the gas, honey. This dress is incredible, and then when they unfolded it, the blue side came out. It's always a 10 for her and I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. She never slips up. She doesn't. You're not gonna catch her slipping up. Not the Met Gala especially. You're not gonna catch Miss Blake slipping up. No ma'am. No ma'am. Emma Stone. <clears throat> no. It's a no for me. It's a no. I do have to say one nice thing about her dress. She rewore her Louis Vuitton dress. This is one of her own dresses from Louis Vuitton. She rewore it in order to make a statement of sustainability and rewearing your clothing. I love that. However, could you not have reworn one of your gowns? Because Miss Emma, I know, like I know you got gowns in your closet. I know you got some good stuff in there in that dress. For the Met Gala. She's beautiful, I can't do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna tell you guys a theme, it's Gilded Glamour. Gilded Glamour. I'm gonna put some of what Gilded Glamour is on the screen so you can see how many people did not do Gilded Glamour. <sighs> Billie Eilish, custom Gucci, it's literally Gilded Glamour. She follows the rules and that's when she gets extra points. Gil Bi Miss Billie has been on it. <laughs> She turns looks. I also like the grunge hair and the grunge choker mixed with the Gilded Glamour. It's good, it's good, I'm gonna tell you, it's good. She knows what she's doing out there. It was inspired by an 1885 look by Madame. I don't know how to say her name. Also, they upcycled materials to make a sustainable dress for Billy. Miss Billy is always making a statement between animal cruelty, sustainability. Okay, let's jump into some of the Kardashian and Jenner fam because this is where we're gonna get a little 
Oh, Harry. This was Chloe's first Met Gala. So first of all, anyone who's hating on her, let's all give her her first Met Gala. She's been famous for like her whole life. That was her first. I think, listen, I think Chloe should have been invited to the Met Gala and you may say for what? Look at everyone who's there. There are people with less credits than Miss Chloe. She should have been inv invited a long, long time ago. I liked her look. I do think it's something we've probably seen before, but I still like the look. It's not a bad look. It's it's not necessarily on theme. <laughs> she showed up and she looks good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Kylie Jenner. I think Kylie Jenner was probably one of the most hated looks online. I was a little shocked when she walked out with a backward baseball cap on with a wedding veil over it. I was like, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> she posted this picture on her Instagram without the baseball cap on and I was like, it's actually really pretty. I do want to lose the top part and this will make a beautiful wedding gown, which again, I don't know what that has to do with the theme, Gilded Glamour, but uh, it would make a beautiful wedding gown. Okay, but we do have to give her some points because guys, she was paying tribute to Virgil Abo, who is the uh, who was the off-white designer, also designed for Louis Vuitton, DJ, he's super famous, did a lot of things. He recently passed away, super, super sad. She was trying to pay tribute to him and she was wearing his brand and that is like his style. So I get where she was coming from and why she did this look. I actually think it's really sweet. The backwards baseball cap is still haunting me a little bit, but it's not a terrible look. I feel like people were a little harsh. I think they were shocked. I think they were shocked because they just weren't ready for her to come out in that. <sighs> okay, moving on. Courtney, no, no, I'm not doing it. I love her and Travis. I'm not doing this look. And lately her past looks have not been good. They both wore Tom Brown. He's an amazing designer. It ain't it. And I'm gonna be honest, it ain't it. I'm gonna say it. I said it. Don't know how I forgot Kendall Jenner, but I did. Kendall Jenner, 10 out of 10. She slayed. I think this is one of the best looks there. I love her bleached eyebrows. I might just bleach my eyebrows. Katy Perry, Oscar de la Renta. Yes, yes, yes. She's really good. She's normally really campy. This time she didn't take it campy. I kind of wish she was more campy, but um, it's a yes for me. She looks amazing. Cara Delevingne. Yes, she's in Dior. She looks amazing. And then she took her top off and painted her body gold. It's a no for me. I'm like, I don't know what's happening here. Is it creative? Is it artsy? Yes. Does it have to do with Gilded Glamour taking your top off? No. Sydney Sweeney and Tori Burch. Yes, yes, yes. She looks like a beautiful goddess. Lizzo also in Tom Brown also carried her accessory as the world's most expensive flute. I love it. She's a bougie girl. She looked beautiful. There is one note on her dress I would change. I loved her outfit, but the bottom is too long. She's dragging it. It looks messy at the bottom. You guys, alter her dress. Why are you putting her out on the carpet in this long ass dress? However, the dress is really, really, really cool. It's like underratedly cool because I saw this video here of her in the bathroom talking and it is like a two part dress, like hanging. It's really unique and it looks beautiful on her. It's too long. Alter it. She she also is one that knows how to turn out a look. Hailey Bieber, YSL. She went there alone without Justin Bieber. I don't know why, but girl, she looked amazing. I remember last year, clowns were literally yelling Selena Gomez at her, which is just the stupidest thing ever. So this year, maybe without Justin, she didn't have to deal with any of that. I think that's absolutely ridiculous to bash someone on the carpet because they're married to someone and you want someone else dating them? Weird. That is weird energy. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're almost done here. Let's keep moving. Cardi B and Versace. Uh, absolutely. 10 out of 10. Cardi B had the best makeup of the night. I'm going to go ahead and give her that award. Best makeup of the night. Cardi B's face was oh, so good. Like, we need to be talking about that. Her dress was amazing. Also noticed it had like these little metal beads and balls hanging off of it. It was above and beyond. Donatelli Versace herself. Took pictures with her. I wanted Donatelia's dress. If Donatelia came out wearing that, I'd be like, well, I wanna wear that one. It is so good. She looked, they both looked amazing. Versace is like, mm, they're good. Nicki Minaj and Burberry. It's a yes, it's a yes, it's a yes until you get to the cap. It's a no for me. However, she said in an interview, the cap was her best part. If she couldn't have the cap, she didn't wanna wear the outfit. She loved that cap. I wasn't obsessed. However, I thought she gets extra, extra points for those black stones all over her body and face. How unique and creative. It was beautiful. She took it a little campy and I appreciate that, Miss Nikki. Didn't love the cap though. Gigi and Versace, it was a no at first because she came out in the red latex bodysuit. I was like, this is not American Horror Story. We're not doing this. And then she put the little robe thingamabob on and it was magical. Like it was insane. I loved it. Gigi was in Versace, of course. Bella Hadid was in Burberry, super sultry, super sexy. I'm into it. 
I'm into her look. Like, I get it. She's sexy and sultry as Bella Hadid. What can you do? Olivia Rodrigo, Versace, gorgeous. Oh, chef's kiss. It's very Olivia Rodrigo. That's her outfit. Like, I predict her wearing that. She wore what I predicted she would wear, and she looks amazing. So this outfit from Frederick Robertson, I'm gonna be dead ass. I don't know who that is, but the outfit took over the carpet because everybody thought he was Jared Leto. Apparently, he's a doppelganger. I don't know what's going on. Jody Turner Smith, the most underrated look on the carpet because in my opinion, this was probably my number one look. This is what I would wanna wear if I was invited. This look is everything and I wanna know why it wasn't talked about more. I had to stalk her down to find pictures. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This should be like headlines. This look is so creative, so unique, and so beautiful and it's on theme, it's on theme. She did it all. She did it all. Let's talk about it more. It's stunning. She wins to me. She wins. Alicia Keys and Ralph Lauren. Yes. Bad Bunny. It's kind of a no for me. Everybody hated the wig and the glasses. I love that part of the look, but the actual outfit, I was like, what's going on? I did like the wig and the glasses, so that was unique. Meg Thee Stallion, yes. She's also one that is constantly slaying the carpet. Meg Thee Stallion, no, no. She knows how to turn these looks out. My camera just overheated because it's a piece of trash. And I'm gonna hold my phone and film the rest of this video because I only have one more person. Meg Thee Stallion, 10 out of 10. Lady Gaga. She came, she conquered, she didn't play games. Her hair was my favorite hair, I think. I loved the look. It was so on theme. Her hair is like a modern take on Gilded Glamour and it looks so good on her. She does turn it out a lot. She's known for good looks, but this look is a yes for me. And that's all of my opinions. If you don't like my opinions, that's totally okay because I'm not a professional and my opinions don't matter. <laughs> I also own a plethora of horrible looks myself for the red carpet. So <laughs> that's why I'm judging others now in my pajamas. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure and smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.